Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your January 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower reading. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Sagittarians, this is what we do here. We will separate the radio um, or the reading slightly uh, in section so it is easier to understand and it will give you a few more messages. <coughs> Excuse me. And what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look into your emotional core, see how you truly feel um, with regards to love, maybe there's love coming in, maybe there's um, trauma that can go now, that sort of thing, before we then lastly look at opportunities. And opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. That said, money is not a spiritual currency, so the opportunities will also be about um, how you are in it with regards to your spiritual awareness, okay? And then there are always changes <laughs> and um, I'm not using cards today. Nah -nah. I will be using my Galaxy Balls, <coughs> which are sort of a newer addition to my work. Obviously I do astrology and then um, the guys just said or thought um, I need different tools at different times and then these galaxy balls come to me. What they really are is crystal balls, but they have little resins in it. And these resins, when I tilt them, um, appear to me like um, galaxies and they allow me to connect deeper to your star sign and therefore hopefully get more meaningful messages. Now, the reason why I'm going on about this is because <laughs> I have two of these galaxy balls and they themselves are different. And depending on which one I pick, uh, um, you ought to look at these messages slightly differently. Okay, what that means is I have two, two galaxy balls. <coughs> I have the dolphin one. Cute, eh? I have the dolphin one. And the dolphin one is about perception. This is about how you see the world, how the world sees you. This is about where are you in the scheme of things. So should I use this one? Should this be the one I end up using for your reading today? Whatever you hear me say, whatever the guides say, and I just um, <clears throat> share that with you, see it from a point of view of where am I right now? What am I doing? How does that fit in to who I am? at this point in time. That's what this one is about. So, right, so that's how this works. You get give different galaxy balls <coughs> because they represent specific elements of you. Therefore, assessing a reading, uh, listening to a reading from different angles um, can make um, the messages stronger for you. The other one that I'm having is the Dragon Galaxy Ball. And um, beautiful, eh? The dragon is associated with the element of water and with the color gold. Now, gold is a conduit. Therefore, it goes up to the stars, to the heavens. It's much easier for me, again, to look at your star sign. But because it is the dragon, which also has been denoted as the north node and the south node in astrology, why you're here and your karmic side, if, should I use this guy? <clears throat> you ought to reflect on the messages the guides will be giving you from within. How does that make me feel? How does that relate to my feelings, to my emotions regarding the sections that we will be looking at? Right? Okay, anyway, you will figure this out. This is not as difficult as it sounds. It's just... It would be stupid for me uh, 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 not not to share that they are different in in how the energy is traveling across to you. <coughs> anyway, Sagittarians, I am drawn to this guy. <laughs> so see things see things from within, Sagittarians. You are the sign of the archer. You will, you will notice that when it comes to whatever it is you're doing, so we're looking at the overall energy right now, and whatever it is you're doing, 
only works when you put the energy in, right? So just remember that your imprint is to be proactive in whatever it is life throws at you, right? So let me just have a look. Sagittarians, it feels to me pretty much that January 2023 will be a slowish month for your sign. You are not required to work your ass off, whether it is for yourself, should you be self-employed, or for anybody else. And remember, this is the overall energy. So um, very likely a lot of stuff will will hit you this month and your job is to say like no remember your design that, that gives energy to things decide how important are things to you right which is again the dragon see it from within right how important is that really to me is it just draining me is it really that important right does it really mean that much if i do all these things so when it comes to your over energy for this month don't don't exert yourself Always pay attention to how much energy does this require of you. And then you have free will. See if you still want to, you know, be there all the time and, and do all the work you normally do. Because the energy here is about stepping back a little from things. So that's the over energy for you for the month of January 2023 for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarians, we're going now into your emotional core see if there's love coming in <coughs> or what needs to be said about relationships um, or maybe it's about trauma now it is really powerful energy here with regards to your emotions because everything i see here has just become super clear so what the guides are saying to you in january 2023 this will be a month where if you are open to looking at things, you will see things exactly the way they are. <coughs> and all you need to do, should you are in the process of manifesting a new relationship, because this is not about trauma, this is all about love. Or should you be in a relationship? It's about understanding, I see everything crystal clear right so they're asking you to also be honest about your feelings and make sure that whoever is involved in this so if there is a partner obviously there's another side then right <coughs> or obviously if you're manifesting a new relationship that will also be about another person um, make sure that 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 purity of vision that 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 you have in January is reflected in what you share in your relationships, right? Um, and because everything is quite clear, it will not be super difficult for you to make changes, right? So that's what I'm getting for your um, emotional core. In your case, Sagittarians, it was all about love. And now we're looking at the um, overall... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Forget about that stuff. Now we're looking at the uh, opportunities as the percentage of CU in the months of January. Okay. January has by default always been a bit of a slow month. <clears throat> and so it is not, not surprising um, that also in your readings, I had this in other readings earlier, um, there's just not all that much happening. Now the interesting thing is that I have a moving planet here, something that appears to be moving on its own, but far away. So what I'm, what I'm getting for you with regards to opportunities, step outside of your comfort zone and allow yourself to really project where it is you want to go, right? What is it you really want to do? Allow yourself to, to Think about the best possible outcome you would want to achieve or experience. And that's the way to manifest these, um, this experience. 
Um, so the point they're making is uh, don't don't stay stuck if you are stuck, but understand that if you want to go to a new place, either emotionally or physically, it will have to be a new place. What will not work for you likely in, in, in January <coughs> with regards to opportunities is to just tread water. You just If you just keep doing what you're doing, unless you really love it, uh, now is the time to look at what else is out there that would sustain you and make your life worthwhile. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share widely. And I see you all in February. Bye-bye.